Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go through the locked door and get the chest and the monkey in this room. Hopefully, we've got more of these critters, and they are going to get in your way, so you probably should sweep up a lot of the floor tiles. I believe they're located at those spots there. I could be, maybe it's just those two? I just thought of a pattern there and it reminded me of something. Oh, wait, maybe I was right about there being one over here at least. Whoop. And notice that there's like a little nest underneath the floor tile of sorts where they dug their hole and whatnot. I think that's a nice little touch. I don't think there's any more here. I don't think you have to kill them all anyway, so I don't, I don't even know why I'm bothering with this. Uh, I like the structure in this temple quite a bit because they, they like... You know how in a lot of Zelda games, the... Like, the structures like this, they're always, like, blocking you with invisible walls or something like that. But in this Zelda, there's stuff hidden within certain structures like you see right here and whatnot. So I think that's quite nice, if you ask me, because of the fact that it, it gives... It gives the feel that there is more realism in the temples, so to speak, than in other Zelda games. Not that I really think that realism is a... Uh, um, big factor, in, I mean, an important factor in video games, as you know. Um, it's just the, a matter of that it, it's different, by the way. Um, I mean, it's different from other Zelda games. By the way, the um, Gale Boomerang will kill the uh, Skull Waltulas in one shot, which is quite nice. So you don't have to use your um, slingshot if you don't want to as well. Although the slingshot might be a little bit faster in some cases. I mean, I see that. I see you on the ceiling there. You can fool me, Chompy McGee. There we go. Uh, there's the monkey there, but I was going to get the treasure chest first. But uh, I'll just pop it open. As long as I'm here. Otherwise, I'll have to backtrack. <laughs> the monkey is free! It is happy! And we are very, very close to the end of the dungeon. But... Why is it so hard to hit a pot? There we go. <laughs> By the way, this dungeon really filled up my wallet, in case you didn't realize that. Now from here, hop yourself across to this chest. What do we get? Hmm, not too shabby. And eh. Yeah, you can make this jump back. It's not like the one in that other room where I got sucked in by the plant. <laughs> Uh, anything over here that's important? Just a broken stairway? Yeah, okay. So I guess that's it for this room, so let's go straight across to the other room. I still find it, I mean, I still found it weird that those uh, uh, bokoblins just completely vanished because I didn't have the bridge at the right spot when that cutscene happened, so they just walked right off the edge. <laughs> Alright, another monkey to go. One more! Um... I think what I want to do is first to get the skull tulas off the ceiling. If if it'll oh there we go. That was kind of weird. Oh, it kind of stuns them. That might be handy actually to prevent them from um, guarding themselves. Like just use the gale boomerang to uh, make them get all staggery. Uh, is there any? Yeah, there's another one here. Fall. Come on. There we go. Now if I were to use the boomerang. Oh, that is really effective. It's super effective! <laughs> well, that is sort of like a flying move and they're bugs, so... Uh, one of these ones with the spider web, you have to fall down. I don't remember which one it was. I'm gonna trust that it's this one. Yes! And that's how you get the monkey. I'm about to put away the lantern. I, I double clicked and put away my sword too. Voila! And that's the last monkey. Now if you look down here, there's this there's a skull to law. Now watch this. You think spiders will be able to climb up here, right? Nah. I think it knows that I'm here too. Oh now it knows I'm here. <laughs> look at this. It can't do anything! Spiders should be able to climb walls! <laughs> or at least you would think. Boop. Now, I wonder what's underneath... Uh, I mean, yeah, what's underneath that thing? 
Guess we're gonna find out. Oh, by the way, I looked up the names of these things between this part and the last part. They're known as bomblings. Those little uh, bug bomb things. Though I think I like my name of bug bomb better. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Alright, so... Oh, a red rupee. I guess it is worth it. Well, sort of. Uh, anything else down here of interest? By the way, these skulls, they they apparently have horns on them, so I guess they aren't human skulls after all. Unless there's humans with horns, so I guess I don't feel uh, nearly as bad about destroying those skulls back in that underwater, uh, I'm not underwater area, um, underground area, you know, you know, the sewer area under Hyrule Castle. I don't feel quite as bad about them now. <laughs> okay, so moving on, I don't think, although... I, Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I want to... I gotta remember to switch items before I flick them on. Sorry. Break all the pots open, see if there's anything to be had. Mm. Really? Nothing for all of that? Hmm. <laughs> well, okie dokie. Now I'm going to go... Oh, actually, I want to check... I think I got everything, actually. Except for the boss, of course, which is the uh, uh, purple skull on the map. Well, it's a white skull with a purple highlight, but you get what I mean. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got everything. So, voila! <laughs> Just wanted to make sure before I head, head over there and whatnot. Alright, now that we have every single monkey, something will happen. Something awesome, something important, something new, something blue, and that's an old saying. <laughs> Monkey chain! You can pretty much guess what's gonna happen by now. Start swinging! <laughs> yeah, that's how you get across the gap to the boss room. It's that single branch up there, which is the only way they can get me across. And that's why you need every single monkey. Okay, so now you need to time your jump. Yeah! And woo! Um, wait. I think there's going to be a fairy in one of those pots over there. So what I'm going to do is get the bottle out right away. Just to make sure that I don't miss a fairy. Yes! These fairies, if you should ever die, whoops, and you have one in a bottle, scoop it with the B button carefully, it'll automatically revive you. So it's like having an extra set of hearts at the upper left corner. Very nice. And that's pretty much it. So let's go face the boss. Those chains went right through the walls. <laughs> Uh oh! Oh dear! Meet Diababa, the boss of the forest temple. Do not go in that water, it's poisonous. This boss, really, really, really easy. Well, I'll just let it attack once. Yeah, that's what it does. Anyway, what you want to do is lock on to one of the bomblings and then one of the Diababa heads. Rinse and repeat. There we go. The boss is done. Yep, that's the end of the forest temple, really. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> there we go. That's its main body. Ew. 
Okay, and now over here, just go all the way back by the door. You're pretty much safe here unless Big Mama up there starts spewing its stomach acid at you. But you're waiting for something, so just wait here. As you notice, all the bomblings are gone at this point, so you can't really do anything. Although maybe I'm supposed to let it attack a few times or something for it to for the event to occur or something like that. Just gotta wait it out, I suppose. There we go. Ook is back! And because we helped him out, he's gonna help us out. Bomblings! The objective is exactly the same as it was before. Get out your Gale Boomerang, lock on to the Bombling, and then lock on to Big Mama this time. You can completely ignore the two little heads if you want to. Wait, what? It missed? Oh, come on! That's blasphemy. <laughs> I, I would like for the Big Mama there to do its out. To do its attack, I don't know how I can provoke it to do so though. <laughs> it's got a stomach acid attack that shoots and follows you around the room, but it's not doing it. <laughs> Maybe after I hit it once, it'll encourage it to to start spewing its acids at me. Well, I'm gonna hit it multiple times while it's out like that. Yeah, when you hit the big head, the eye—I mean, it falls forward. The eye comes out of its mouth. And voila! Here we go! This is the attack I was waiting for. That, I ran right into it. That stomach acid, it sort of aims towards you, you gotta look out for that. Now, you're still uh, mostly safe on this side of the room from anything except for that stomach acid, so take advantage of that. But, but if you're fast enough, you won't even have to worry about them attacking you after that uh, one attack at all. <laughs> because after this, it's all over. Ridiculously easy boss. As you've seen, I was messing around the whole lot as well, so. Otherwise, I don't think I would take a hit whatsoever. <laughs> that is a heart container. It'll give you one entire heart, unlike with the heart pieces that you need five of them to get a new heart that'll give you one instantly. And what is this? Well, the thing we're looking for, of course. Thank you! So it's a few shadow. Thank you for answering my question. So apparently these thingies can do it. Such nice music after you beat a boss, by the way. Sounds good! Grab it, grab it, grab it! Yeah! And watch the upper left corner. yoo You now have four. Take a look around this room before you leave. It is really beautiful. It wasn't before, obviously, because, you know, the parasite was here. Gorgeous! Alright, let's get out of here. Yes. Well, it's kind of painful to teleport like that. Your body gets torn to pieces and then reformed somewhere else, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, I will. Oh, and here is my bloated save file time. <laughs> I will save over here. I'm sort of alternating save files as I go, so I have, like, checkpoints so I can restart parts if I need to, like if a recording corrupts or something like that. It's just a safety feature for walkthroughs.
Obviously not. I mean, we gotta get some more few shadows. What? Uh oh. More twilight. Although beast form is rather fun. <laughs> West to Elden is where we must go next. Well, yeah. Why, thank you. You're a lot friendlier than you seemed at first. And that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we go journeying through the lands of Hyrule.